Hey guys, Greenisher here, and today I have this Acer laptop. This is the Aspire R11A. It's a laptop tablet thing, and what I want to do is replace the RAM. As you can see, I have 8 gig right there, and it used to have only 2 gigabytes of RAM. So what we want to do first is turn off the computer, and as you can see right here, since we can't remove the battery, oh, we just have to turn it off. So I'm just going to long press the power button, which is on the side. Okay. So as you can see, I have 8 gig already, which means I already installed the RAM, which means this does work. And first step to do is remove all the screws. We have 12 right here. And I'm going to pause the video, but I'm going to start with one and then I'll come back when they're all out. Okay, I'm just on my last screw right here. And they're all out. Um, I don't think I'm going to remove all of them, but be careful though that they don't get mixed around and get lost. So what, what I'm going to do next is on the Ethernet port, I'm just going to pry up a little and try to see here it click right there and then just kind of pry the whole bottom apart so I'm just gonna collect my screws so I don't lose them you could remove all the screws first but I find that less convenient since I have to put it back in the holes and as you can see here I'll just place the screws that jumped out on me and place the cover to the side. Okay. So now we have the in internals. Okay. So the RAM is actually hidden right here behind this plate. And I believe this is the CPU. I'm not sure. And I don't have a hard drive. So it only has 32 gigs. But anyways, the RAM is behind this um, plate right here. And I don't know if you can see clearly, but right there, it's kind of clipped in. It's not clipped in, but then it's friction uh, fitted with those um, brackets. Okay, so so we're just going to want to pry up, as you can see there. And then pry up on this side, ta-da. It's just a cover. And there is our RAM right there. I already have the 8 gigs of RAM installed. And if you look closer, that's what the metal cover um, rested on. And so what we're going to do next is you're just going to press these two prongs right here. It's going to press them out. And as you do that, the RAM will pop forward towards you and then you can pull it off. And then we can install our new RAM. In this case, this is the old one, which only had two gigabytes, even though it has four um, I don't know what those are, but it has four of these, but it's only two gigs of RAM. So now I have this this one with eight gigs of RAM, which I'm going to put back. As you can see, it had, it's slotted right here, so you can't put it backwards. And it only goes in one way, right here. So I'm just going to put that gently. And then once it's seated in, I'm going to push it back and wait until those two click in. All right, we are good. So last part is... We are just going to place this back and try to put it on where the prongs are that hold it. Uh huh. There. It looks good. It looks secure. Okay. So. We're almost done. Now all we need to do is put the cover back. Be careful because the cover has magnets on it, so it might want to stick to one side first. But there. Okay. Can't quite line it up on this side. Okay, there, I think I got it. 
So now I'm going to run all the screws down and I'm going to start with one and then I'm going to pause the video and come back when they're all run down. Okay, so I've run down all the screws and make sure they're all snug. You don't want to over tighten them because this is just a computer. And now we're going to open it. And usually I realize I need to click something here on the sides. Just, just push around the edges. Like, make sure it's secure. Okay. So now we're going to verify that it works by turning it on. Oh, I didn't press the power button. Okay, turning it on, pressing F2. And... Okay, I have to enter my password, so I'll pause the video real quick. And here we are, I entered my password. Now we're in the inside Dell H2O setup utility. But as you can see right there, oh, I okay, there, as you can see right there, we have 8,192 8, gigabytes of RAM, which means that eight, we have eight gigs of RAM available. And that's pretty much it guys. Just reboot and make sure your computer turns on. And unfortunately I don't have Windows on here even though it came with Windows. Uh, I messed up and broke the Windows OS. <laughs> I know, how do you do that, right? But I have Chrome OS on here. But I can still show you that it works because it turns on and stuff. See? And it is a little bit faster when it turns on. Not when it turns on, but when it handles work, I can open more tabs on the Chromebook. Well, now it's a Chromebook. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching and subscribe.